Good, and there's a B in there. You see that? Um, now, is it alive? It doesn't look alive to me. Can I, do you mind if I just put this on a piece yeah. of white paper? Yeah. By the way, this is how you grade diamonds. <laughs> well, that's not white. <laughs> it's uh, the 11th of October. We're looking at the leaf cutter bees that we had gotten and we had been putting out as they emerged. Uh, our issue is they really aren't emerging. And so we're wondering what's really in these cocoons. So Gene is going to dissect the second one. This is a right here is the remnants of the first. And here is G, is uh, Gene going ahead uh, with tweezers and exacto knife. Jim, what I would like to point out is that, uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is an intact cocoon sleeve, meaning what we should find in here, okay. right here is the packing. Yeah, hold and, it down at the bottom so I can okay. not. If you look at the front, this is where the bee did its packing to separate it from the, the next bee. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to slowly, with this knife, open up the cocoon. Try not to disturb what's inside it very much. That might be harder said than done. Uh, here we go. Just a little bit of patience. Uh, I would not make a good surgeon. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year we need to get a uh, doctor on our team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, there's. Uh, I chose wrong. There, there's the packing material. There should have been the larva. Uh, so that the, that cocoon was empty. This cocoon is empty. Yeah. So we have to take a look at another one. So. Okay, here's another one. The cocoon is partially open, so I can visually see a bee inside. So we'll take it over to the white paper. Okay. So, what I observed visually was there is something in here. So I'm going to remove the outer casing of the cocoon if I can get a hold of it there we go just hold on to it these are fragile um, they, they appear to be very dried out that's probably why there's nothing live inside but there is the remnants of a of a bee inside it I'm sure now get a hold of that little guy again here just open that up and there we go just, let's just carefully remove it there's the bee so we'll put aside the cocoon material so we can take a look and more closely observe the bee itself now this bee is is not alive but what's important here is that we have this is what the cocoon looks like and this is what the bee looks like very small leaf cutter bee now the question that Jim raised which is an obvious one and that is is it still a viable bee is it just in hibernation unlike the mason bees you can't refrigerate for long periods of time, leaf cutter bees. You can only do it long enough to slow them down. If you refrigerate them like you do mason bees, uh, they will die, as was proven by one of our first uh, experiments with this. So that's, this is what a an infant leaf cutter bee looks like. It's the 11th, and I've selected out of this entire tray here, I've selected uh, five of the leaf cutter uh, cocoons, which I'm going to di dissect as we did the previous two or three, 
just to do uh, to see to get some more samples. The first one we did find this bee, um, obviously not alive. Okay, we uh, took five more out of here as you saw before. Actually, the two last ones were double. And when we opened them up, this was the first one, we found this bee. The second one also had this. Let me make sure I get it right. This bee was the second. And you can see basically every other one, every of the seven, every one had a bee in it. Uh, obviously not alive. So the bees were in here. Um, they did not uh, hatch out, so we're not sure why that is.